<laughs> Hi, Cruising Library. My name is Maddie Court, and I'm here in my car. Not because I am going to break quarantine and go somewhere, but this is just the quietest place that I have to record right now. And I'm here with Tony, who has no chill, so she might be popping in and out. This is a zine called The Ex Girlfriend of My Ex Girlfriend is My Ex Wife, and it is a zine in question and answer format. All the questions are from real people, um, mostly from like social media and my Instagram. And the zine is just lesbian, queer memes, and me answering different people's relationship questions as they come up. Um, and the first one I'm going to read to you is just the first one that I opened to. So this is a question from a real person. And <laughs> it begins, Tony's the real star, I think of this scene. My partner, who had previously got along really well with my family, um, oh, you know what, this one is like, this one is like three and a half pages long. Let's read this one. Question. I am a lesbian that doesn't adhere to the my ex-girlfriend lesbian trope. I have only had one girlfriend but many sexual partners, and I don't know how or when to transition from friends with benefits to an actual relationship. Please help. I am struggling. From Maya. My answer. When the phrase friends with benefits no longer describes how you're experiencing things, it's time to define the relationship. It's scary to show your boundaries and expectations, I know, but you can use the topic of language to introduce the topic. Be like, how do you describe me to your friends? Or I'm not sure what to call this. And then there's a meme of an old lady in bed with her cat, and it says, <laughs> me stoned out of my gourd, but determined to contact my ex. I think Tony's determined, <laughs> determined to, to do something. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in her head. Next question. My friend <laughs> has had multiple other friends tell her they were in love with her, and she has said no to them all. I have a giant crush on her now too. We flirt endlessly. I obviously think it's different with me, but that's probably what they all thought too. Do I say something and risk becoming part of the sad list or stay silent and flirt forever? Answer. <laughs> Your breath is so bad. Answer. It sounds like your friend is someone who sends mixed signals. <laughs> Instead of pouring emotional energy into wondering if there's something more between you, tell her how you feel. Get that resolution. Even if she just wants to stay friends, at least she'll no longer be in lesbian limbo. In my own experience, sexually charged friendships tend to culminate in hasty sex, and a week later the braver person sends a text that's like, Do you want to talk about what happened in the tent? I do not advise this. Next question. Uh, uh, okay. The girl I love and see five, six, seven days a week and do art, make love to for hours and cook dinner with, who feels like my one true boo, is still casually fucking one to three times a month, this dude, dude is all caps. Should I give up something that feels real because of it? I am a one woman show and I'm not used to being asked to compete. Every time she casually mentions him, I feel literally sick. She knows I'm crazy about her. She's just not sure about being exclusive yet. We've been dating for several months. Are we a thing or not? Oh, can I make myself care less about her getting fucked by someone else? It is crushing my soft romantic heart and I can't quit her. And that is signed Birdie from New Orleans. Answer. Several months is a long time to be in a relationship and not have established boundaries. Re-sex with other people. You're both pretending an open relationship is possible when you're clearly a monogamous person. Maybe you think you're preserving your relationship or, comp or, uh, or compromising, but you're actually guaranteeing a blow up further down the line. Instead of stockpiling jealousy and anger, tell your girlfriend that you want to be exclusive. Your relationship isn't MacBook software. You can't hit remind me forever on clear communication and boundaries. And then there's a meme and it's uh, getting a tattoo to commemorate a road trip. It's two, hand two hands holding. Um, and then it's Femmes and their Saturn Returns, me, right now, and then Bikers. Yeah. And um, the rest of the zine, it is 36 pages of lesbian advice. It's very long. has a little survey about breakups and how to ask people out. Um, yeah, and this is my favorite advice scene. I think the third time is always the charm. 
Tony, do you have anything? I, I had the camera, um, I had the camera like <laughs> tied to my mirror with scrunchies. Tony, do you have anything to say? She's the real star.